let's make some fantastic fish with Chroma 2 washable tempera. You'll need two pieces of paper. You want to draw a fish. You'll just want to draw the body and the mouth. We'll be making the tails and the fins next. Once you have two sides to your fish, take another piece of paper and fold in half lengthwise. From the top left corner to the right, make a triangle shape. And from the bottom left corner, going up, you want to make an arc and then one more arc from the fold so that you can make a tail. Assemble your fish by putting the tail in the middle, by attaching your fins and attaching the side fins as well. You'll want to attach the side fins to the body, one per side. Staple on the inside and then fold over. Once your side fins are attached, you want to put your bottom, attach the tail in between your two pieces of paper and staple all around the bottom. Make sure that you leave an opening at the top because now we can stuff the fish with some recycled paper. To make this fish a little bit more puffy and a little bit fatter. When it's stuffed, insert your top fin and then staple shut. Now it's time to paint. Using Chroma 2 Washable Tempera, pour out some colors that you want. You can use colors that are based on the real colors of fish, or you can use your imagination. This washable tempera is a brilliant, silky, and heavy body tempera, so it provides a lush painting experience, even for young kids. Here I'm painting a magical pattern, something that I made up. I'm not quite sure if there's a tropical fish that looks like this. I'm painting some stripes. And then I'm going to use some of the turquoise in between as well. You can make all sorts of patterns. You can even scratch into this tempera to provide some additional texture and visual interest. As I'm waiting for my stripes to dry, I'm going to paint my fins. I'm putting a piece of paper behind the fin so it doesn't get onto the wet paint underneath. Of course, you can always let everything dry. I didn't quite let things dry, which is why some of my colors are blending, but that's okay. I think it adds some interest to the project. Just gonna fill in these little sections here that I forgot. And now I'm going to set aside to dry. You can also use Chroma Temp Artist Tempera in the fluorescent colors. These are great because they glow under a black light. When the one side of your fish is dry, then it's time to paint the others. You can do the exact same pattern as you did on the front side, which is what I'm doing here, or you can create an entirely different pattern. It is your choice because it is your fish. Again, use your imagination or base your colors and your patterns off of some fish that you have seen online or in some books. Don't forget to paint the fins. One of the great things about using just some basic copy paper or light white paper for this project, because as the paint dries, the paper will start to curl, adding some life and movement to your project. Don't forget to paint an eye. And there you have it, a school of tropical, fun, fabulous fish. It's okay if Chroma 2 Washable gets on your hands because it'll wash right off. For more information on this project and more, 
visit our website at www.chromeonline.com.